Jamie Jams here once again with another episode of Gear Stories. This episode is a really exciting one for me because it's where I and also a few other people get to play a part into someone else's story, both musically and personally. Now you're wondering what's the gear that will be featured in this video? Well, you're in for a treat. We have this. And you're wondering what's inside this, right? Well, inside this package are a set of guitar pickups. And not just any set of guitar pickups. They are the Lambertones Blondie electric guitar pickups for a Telecaster. This was sent to me by my buddy Curtis over at Lambertones Pickups all the way in Yakima, Washington, the USA. I met Curtis earlier this year in Summernam in Nashville and he is one of the most amazing people you will ever meet. I first heard about Curtis and his pickups through the gear forums such as Facebook, you know, Gear Talk Praise and Worship and YouTube clips. And you know, they were, they were hyped up but in a really good way because his pickups sounded amazing. I was like, man, I really want to try these Lambertones pickups that everyone's talking about. So I meet Curtis and I finally get to see, you know, his pickups and try them out in a few guitars. And my goodness, they are so awesome. They're awesome to the point where I actually wanted to buy a set, not for myself, but for someone else. Let's unbox this thing, shall we? Ooh, this looks really, really cool. Ooh, I don't know if you guys can see that, but that box says Lambertones right there. <laughs> All right, the moment of truth. Let's open these up and see what's inside. Ooh, whoa, look at that. It's the Blondies and the filter cover on it. Ho <laughs> ho, that is pretty stunning. Look at that. So we have a Telecaster bridge pickup, the Blondie bridge, and then we've got the Blondie neck with a with a little filter cover on it, which looks awesome. Now, these pickups are not going into any of my guitars. These pickups are actually going into this guitar, which does not belong to me, but it belongs to one of the youth members in my church. During my last few weeks in the United States before I left to come back to Australia, I was already making a list of gifts to get to people before I came back. It's a, it's a Filipino thing, we call it Pasi Lubong, which means, you know, when you go overseas, you usually give back to other people who mean a lot to you. And one of the people that I was thinking of was our youngest guitarist in our church. Her name is Bella, and she owns a Telecaster. And I was wanting to get a set of blondies to put into this Squire Classic Vibe 50s guitar. So I messaged Curtis and say, hey, I really want to buy a set of these pickups, but they're not for me, but they're for someone in my church. And he was like, man, I really want to be part of the story. Actually, you know what? I'm going to surprise you with something. So a few weeks later, he surprises me and get a set of blondies. And well, we'll get back to the story of this guitar later, but I'm really excited to hear how these pickups will sound into this guitar. But before we install it, why don't we give this a little sound test, shall we? Now I ain't gonna lie, <laughs> for a squire that actually sounds really good, that's actually really usable, but there is always room for improvement. So let's go ahead and install these. Hey guys, I'm joined here with my buddy, Lucas the Spinner, Instagram handle at Lukey007. And he is a guitar tech, a musician, and an all around gear nerd who's been doing this for about how long have you been setting up and installing, doing uh, all the stuff for? I lost count, probably 10 years at least. 10 middle, years, middle. we've been doing it for a while. And we are about to install the Lambertones Blondies on this Squire Classic Bio 50s guitar, so. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Look at 
that. Ooh, Lamb of Tones. Really nice. So the blondies are installed. Thank you to Lucas. You did such a fantastic job installing these pickups and setting up the guitar. It feels and even looks like a brand new guitar. Can't wait to plug it in. So let's give it its first playthrough. <laughs> Immediately there is a massive difference. Oh my goodness. I was saying earlier that we got to go back to the story of this guitar. So, let's bring in the person who actually owns this guitar. So, Bella, come in. Hey guys, so this is Bella. Her Instagram handle is at Bella May. Bella.may. Bella.may. Two E's. Two E's. Is there another school? No, it's it. Okay. Yeah. All right. And she is the youngest guitar player in our church. She's been in our worship team for about three years now. And she's the one who owns this guitar. So, Bella, to introduce everyone who you are, I'm going to give you a few icebreaker questions. C, C, C. All right. Question number one, how old are you? I'm 16. 16 years old. Cool. Question number two, how long have you been playing guitar for? Or music in general for? Uh, since I was seven. Yeah. Since I was seven. Since seven. you were seven. And did you start playing guitar or did you start playing another oh, instrument? Oh, I, I started playing drums at seven and then I quit. And then at the age of ten, went to guitar. and. I haven't stopped since. Good choice. Um, who are your favourite music artists you like to listen to? Oh, Melanie Fay, number one. Melanie Fay. And FKJ. Uh, yeah, FKJ. Nice. Yeah, pretty fine. I like FKJ. And besides music, what are your hobbies that you like to do? Um, I like to hmm, watch, watch TV, watch YouTube, um, watch Melanie Fay. And yeah. Cool. Okay, so, Bella. Can you tell me a little bit of the backstory behind this guitar that you have? So, like I said, I've been playing guitar since I was 10 and I've always wanted an electric guitar. You know, seeing Queer Gem up on the church, uh, on the church, on the stage, you know, really inspired me to want to learn <laughs> playing cool leads. And I was like, wait, I want to do that. And so for like around four years, I asked my parents to get one and uh, to get uh, an electric guitar and I did but it was more like a 250 guitars which they were good but it didn't sound as good as this and then 
on my 60th birthday this year, um, Queer Gem hooked my parents up with a great deal. And at midnight, they came and surprised me with this beautiful thing. Yep. So, yeah. So it's, it's pretty funny. So Bella's been in our church worship team for the past three years now, like I said before. And she's always played like this little cheapo white Les Paul looking guitar, <laughs> which would always fall into pieces. She's never yeah. owned she's never owned any pedals or amps no, or, or a high quality guitar. So yeah, before her 16th birthday, her parents called me and said, "Hey, what kind of um, guitar would would be great for Bella?" And it's funny, I took her out with a few of the youth kiddos at my church who are in the youth worship team. Went to the music store and she played this white Telecaster, and it was awesome. <laughs> Sounds great. And it was awesome because like it really suited her vibe and the music that she listens mm -hmm, to. Mm -hmm. Her favorite one of her favorite artists is Daniel Caesar who plays a white telecaster. And I was like, oh yeah, the squire Clash of Vibe 50s would be fantastic for us. So yeah, exactly it. So mm -hmm. we get it. We surprise her at midnight. Come in. Come in. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. <laughs> and not only did she get a brand new guitar. Got even more blessed. She got even more blessed because before I flew over to the United States earlier this year, I actually gave her my personal Line 6 Helix. What? Oh, oh, yeah. So now she is wow. e she's equipped with a new guitar and pedals and a bunch of amps in that one box that lasts her for a whole lifetime. Yes sir. Um, and speaking of your new guitar, we have the new pickups which are installed. And you actually haven't played Not your yet. guitar yet with the Not new yet. pickup, so yeah. would you like to try? I would love to try! Alright, <laughs> let's try this guitar! Sorry. pickups it sounds and feels amazing. amazing seriously it does thank you so much to Curtis Lambertown for thank you, Curtis. being a part of this thank you for so much for your generosity thank you to my buddy Lucas for being willing to set up this guitar you know one of the things I hope that you can learn from this and take away from this video is that you know there is more to life when you learn how to give one of my favorite verses of the Bible in Proverbs 11, 24 to 26 says, The world of the generous gets larger and larger, and the world of the stingier gets smaller and smaller. When you realize that life is not just about yourself, but it's more about others and how you can inspire and you can build people up, life just becomes even more better than it is. So, I hope Amen. you guys learned something from this video, and I hope that you guys continue to be inspired um, by this video series. And yeah, seriously, thanks so much for watching. Peace out. See ya.